First, with the Bloodhounds from John Jay College. A freshman from Yonkers, New York, a guard, number two, Jordy Ruiz. A freshman guard from Huntington, New York, number three, Ayana Edwards. A junior guard from Queens, New York, number 10, Bonnie Green. A freshman forward slash center from Yorktown Heights, New York, number 20, Ashley Ziola. And running on the starters, a junior forward from Merrick, New York, number 24, Katie Healy. Assistant coaches are Cassandra Taylor and Aisha Howard, and your head coach, Linda Day. Now let's meet the Peru College Bearcats. A freshman guard from Brooklyn, New York, number three, Alisa Leon. A junior guard from the Bronx, New York, number 12, Pat Mitchie. A junior guard from Brooklyn, New York, number 13, Lily Yee. A freshman guard from Pleasant Valley, New York, number 23, Mia Castillo. And a senior guard forward from Staten Island, New York. Congratulations this week to Melinda Spayu on 1,000 career points. Number 25, Melinda Spayu. Your assistant coaches, Alicia Omer and Anna Karamagelis. And your head coach, Michael Katrosos. <laughs> And good afternoon, New York City. We have a nice CUNYAC women's basketball game between the John Jay Bloodhounds and your Baruch College Bearcats. Really, you know, the, the 10 and 6 Bloodhounds come into the game against the 6 and 7 Bearcats. But what's more important is right now, Baruch 4 and 2 in the CUNYAC, John Jay 5 and 1 in the CUNYAC, both trailing Brooklyn College. But a lot of uh, time here to, to fight for second place. Alongside Joe Stolzer, I'm David Justin. Joe, a great second place matchup here and a big uh, implications on the pl uh, playoff seating for CUNYAC. Yeah, good afternoon, David. And uh, it's got a playoff feel uh, in the air. And uh, we're inching towards March. So every game now uh, is really uh, one step closer to March. Where are you going to be? So it'll be Ziola and Spyu, and Ziola wins the tip. It's going to be John Jay's ball here to start things off. They're going to be in their dark blue away strips, gray lettering. Baruch in their traditional home whites, light blue lettering. Zio uh, excuse me. Yes, that was Ziola underneath, and she was able to get her own rebound and finish at the basket and already seeing some of the size issues that Baruch may have to deal with here in the early going for yeah. John Jay. David, the size has bothered uh, Baruch this season in some of their earlier games, but... And, and all you have to do is just position your body and set your feet. As Castillo knocks down the baseline jumper, good look there in the first in the first possession for the Bearcats, and they quickly come out with the full court press. John Jay able to corral on the back court. It's going to be excuse me, it's be Edwards on the far side. It's good to see Castillo get off uh, with an early basket, get into a rhythm. Healy now, left elbow jumper off front iron, no good. Rebounded there by Castillo. Yi hits the deck behind the play, but Castillo goes quickly into the front court. Step back, free throw line jumper, rattles that one home. And Castillo, like you said, Joe, off to a quick start. Yeah, that, that bodes well. Remember, she's got a sidekick, uh, Melinda Spayu, uh, who she did not have earlier in the year. So we've got some balance on the Bearcats. Ball swung around the perimeter of the offensive end. Healy has it in the corner, gives it up. Now Ruiz on the, on the left wing, up top to Edwards. Ball swung back around the perimeter to Healy. Cross court pass to Ruiz. Ruiz, excuse me, actually that is number 10, Bobby Green. Her shot no good. Ziola's rebound opportunity no good there. Ziola gets the offensive board again, and John Jay get a fresh 20 to make things happen. Entrance pass into Ziola from Ruiz is intercepted. I think that was Spy who comes away with it. Either way, she comes out of the pack with it. Ooh, but half court bounce pass a little too far ahead of Leung. And it'll go back to John Jay. 
David, the Bearcats have to really hone in on Ziola here because uh, she poses a big problem down low offensively. Six foot freshman from Yorktown Heights is Ziola as Healy gets fouled there. And that's going to be our first whistle of the ball game. It's going to be on Spayu. That's going to be her first. And, and if you notice the way Ziola plays, she plays straight-legged, and she's just got tremendous length. So Baruch is going to have to kind of uh, find a way to deal with that length. So now Green into the lane. She gets fouled. Is that going to be a second quickly on Spayu? It is, and that's going to be her second here in the first quarter. So you'll see her come to the bench as Alta Morano checks into the game. Yeah, here's where Baruch's experience with some of the players throughout the year, younger players, older players, uh, is going to have to come in when one of your key players goes down. Uh, next man up. And Green knocks down the first. Bobby Green shooting 58% from the free throw line. Already 115 attempts this season, so a nice sample size there. She goes two of two in this trip to the charity strike. Good good stroke by uh, Green. So Leung has it now in the backcourt. Edwards picks her up. Ooh, nice pass out to Valmichi. Valmichi from the baseline. Nothing but the bottom of the net for Valmichi, and she gets her name on the stat sheet for the first time this David, afternoon. every time that Alyssa Young gets inside the foul line and kicks, that's a great offensive play. Ooh, nice offensive play there on the other end by John Jay. The three there from Ruiz is no good. Healy comes ag again away with the offensive board. Ooh, Edwards, dangerous pass. I didn't even see Ruiz cutting there. She Obviously, she saw him better than I did. And Green able to finish at the basket going right past Michi at, uh, by the rim. Yeah, Michi was never in a defensive stance position. And uh, that was an easy one for John Jay. Good job by John Jay there on that last possession, getting Baruch going horizontally across the court. A lot of cross-court ball movement in the foul there. I believe it's going to be on Healy. It is, yes, underneath as Michi was trying to get the ball off into the corner. And Baccarella will come into the game as Michi comes to the bench. The uh, ball movement for Baruch has really improved as the year's gone on, uh, led by Young and her court awareness. Ooh, wild inbound pass there. Nice play by Leung to save it. Nope, she was unable to do so. And a wild play there as Castillo, I think, inbounded the ball, hit the underside of the backboard, and Leung just did her best to keep it inbounds. Either way, sloppy uh, entrance pass as Baruch was able to get a second opportunity. Yeah, the backboard acts as a defensive player against you. So now Healy has it in the corner. Ziola trying to post up on Alta Morano. Can't find the space. Eventually gets the ball inside. Her shot, Errant, might have been forced off of her spot by a Castillo. And they're going to say it was a jump ball, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. If, if the Bearcats can hold Ziola in check, they have a great chance of um, handling this game. I guess the thing I'm worried about a little bit, and we're seeing it in the early going right now, John Jay already has four offensive rebounds, so just really giving themselves second opportunities at the basket. I don't feel Baruch's intensity yet, David. Um... I think that they're kind of feeling John Jay out. And I, I think that somebody's going to have to say, hey, let's go now. Let's dig our feet into the ground and play. As Green able to find some space right by the basket, unable to hit. Shot was a little too short. Ball batted around. Leon comes away with it for the Bearcats. She's quickly double teamed, looking over her shoulder. She'll pull back. Smart play there by Elisa. Now Altamirano has it in the corner. Castillo cutting in the basket, calling for it. Step back jumper. A nice little six-footer is good to go. And Castillo, we've seen a couple times now, Joe, really find that position on the baseline and, and call for the ball. Well, Castillo is playing not like a freshman. She's playing like she's been a, you know here five years. She's making things look easy. And just like that, we call her name again as she gets the block on the defensive end. She'll take it herself into the front court. Bounce pass over to Leung, who's looking for Yi on the baseline. Gives it to Alta Morano. Back out to Yi. Hand off to Castillo. Castillo thinks about the shot. Yi comes for the pick. And uh, Coach Catrozos wants his team to reset. Alta Morano trying to find Yi on the baseline. Pass stolen there, and Ruiz comes away with it. Coach K wants a proper offense. Ooh, Ruiz's shot was blocked. I couldn't see who got it last. Was it Alta Morano? I think it might have been. And it'll go back to the Bearcats as it goes off Ruiz last. Nice defensive play there. Baruch looking impressive defensively, having a bit of a size mismatch, but definitely getting their hands up and playing strong. Baruch has some players that don't show up in the scoreboard, but do the variables. 
So Leung has it on the far side. Takes the pick from Alta Morano. Hands off to Yi. Yi goes going to go back the way she came. Hand off over to Baccarella on the near side. Up to Leung. Castillo now has it on the left wing. She's going to pull a deep three. Shot way short. And Healy comes away with the rebound. Healy now quickly into the front court. The pace is definitely picked up here at the Arc Arena. As Healy trying to go coast to coast. Castillo. They're going to call it a travel. They're going to call it a travel. And it'll go back to the Bearcats. Well, I, I think that... Um both teams better be careful because if you're going to up your intensity, watch out for the fouls. So Leung has it on the far wing. Hand off to Castillo. Castillo splits two defenders. Going right up against Zayola. Shot a little short. No good. Nice to come back in defense by Zayola. And Baccarella comes away with the steal. And they're going to call for a shot clock reset. So it'll be Baruch's ball on side out. But nice play there by Vaccarello to keep that possession alive and give Baruch a second opportunity. Shout out to Vaccarello, who is the unsung hero off the bench for Coach K. She does all, she's the Jack Reese of the women's basketball team. And now Castillo has it on the far wing. Altamirano comes with the pick. Castillo doesn't use it, gives it off to Leung. Leung's going to take a couple of steps before she puts it on the deck, and it'll go back to John Jay. Alyssa's always trying to make a play. And sometimes she'll kind of commit herself, but uh, we need her to distribute the ball. And again, Castillo, remember she got off going good. She's got to find that flow again. So Green has it on the far side. Zayola going to take too many steps on the other end and kind of just a repeat of what Leung did for the Bearcats. As Ashley Nieves checks into the game, it'll be Healy who comes to the bench. Now remember... Melinda Spayu's on the bench. So this is kind of Castillo and everybody else. And John Jay going to move to a four-guard lineup as Nieves came in. And Castillo right into the lane, gives it off to Alta Morano. And she takes too many steps. I didn't see it there. Maybe it was just a little bit slide of that pivot, and it'll go back to John Jay. Yeah, she was kind of in no man's land. That's why we need Alyssa Young to run the team. Get everybody in their positions. Leong has it. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Bobby Green has it now. Green going to slide that pivot, and it's going to go back to the Bearcats. Very rare, but we've seen three straight travels on three straight possessions. The, the good thing about that possession, Ziola was almost up to the elbow, so she didn't possess, possess a threat. And Carnacion has it now on the near side. Just checked into the game. Castillo going to get fouled as she comes across. Foul there's going to be on number 10, Bobby Green. That's her first. Only the team's second, so it'll be Baruch's ball underneath. Boy, the referees are really getting their whistles in shape, David. So Leung has it up top. Calling out the offense. Finds a cutting Yi. Yi's fouled by Zayola, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Once again, the court awareness of Young and finding a wide receiver uh, going right into the end zone. Millie knocks down the first. Millie is, is kind of the person that uh, is a key per, uh, performer for the uh, Bearcats offense, but sometimes she... You know, doesn't heat up, so to speak. Today would be a great day for her to heat up. The last time we were here at the Arc Arena, she played only the first half due to the game flow, but she went 8 of 8 from the field and lost all Bearcat scores as Bobby Green now has it into the front court. It's going to go right past two defenders. They're going to say, nope, the basket won't count as the foul was on the floor. The foul there is going to be on Baccarello. That's her first. Everybody but Ziola wants to go to the basket in similar fashion. So the Bearcats are just going to have to stay in front. So it's going to be a 30-second timeout for Coach Catrozos and the Bearcats with 317 remaining in the first. Baruch lead by four. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live.
So it'll be John Jay's ball as we come out of the timeout here underneath their own basket. They do have a fresh 20 on the shot clock. It will be Ruiz to inbound. It's Ruiz, Green, Nieves, Edwards, and Healy on the floor for John Jay. Leung, Baccarella, Castillo, Encarnacion, and Yi on the floor for the Bearcats as I think that was Edward, no, excuse me, that was Green inside. Her shot blocked by Castillo. Castillo going to go coast to coast and finish with the right hand. Well, Castillo probably uh, was told by Coach K in the huddle uh, to really get going, and she is capable of doing just that. And Healy dribbles it off the leg of Castillo. Baccarella comes away with a loose ball. Castillo's going to push now into the front court, looking for options. Slows up as Green comes out on her. Baccarella over to Yee up top. Yi covered by Nieves, hands it off to Castillo, takes the pick from Yi. Yi going to take too many steps before she puts it on the deck, and it's going to go back to John Jay. Yeah, Baruka is making it difficult with unforced turnovers here, but let's be patient, and things will come our way. So now Edwards has it in the th top of the key. Ooh, she got bumped a little bit, loses the ball, no call. Castillo trying to find Yee up ahead of the pack. Yee ho, just a little too far under the basket. Hits right rim. No good. And Healy comes away with it wow. for John Jay. Patrick Mahomes to a Hilaire uh, for a touchdown. That was. The foul there is going to be on Baccarella. I believe it was. Yep, it was Ruiz fouled underneath. Only Baruch's fourth. So it'll still be side out with 2.05 remaining here in the first. They'll actually be under the basket as Ayola checks back into the game. Now Michi also coming into the game for the Bearcats. So the Bearcats on this defensive possession just have to stay with their man and just move their feet and hands. And it's going to be an it's going to be a foul before the inbounds. That's going to put Ayola into the. Uh, at the free throw line, excuse me, as Yee comes to the bench. The foul was on her. That was only her first of the afternoon. Yeah, Millie Yee was getting aggressive with Ziola, and that's a good thing. Let's, let's not give Ziola, you know, freedom underneath. Uh, who almost rattles home the first? It rims out. I hope Millie Yee uh, is having just a little breather because we really need her in the lineup. And Ziola only a 53% free throw shooter on the season. That doesn't help her cause as Castillo now gives it up to Trainer, who just checked into the game for Yi. Now up top to Leung. Takes the pick from Castillo. Crossover move. Green out on her. Now Encarnacion. Pull up from the free throw line. Off right rim. No good. Healy comes away with the rebound for John Jay. And quickly into the front court. Finds Nieves underneath. Right back to Healy. Ooh, a little bit of a laser pass. Too low for Healy to corral. And it'll be Baruch who comes away with it, and Castillo will bring it into the front court. Encarnacion on the near side. She takes too many steps, didn't put it on the deck quick enough, and it'll go back to John Jay. Yeah, me, me Castillo has got to uh, assert herself now and not play playmaker. It's a 12-6 Baruch lead, but um, we, we need Castillo to be an offensive force today. And the three there by Green, no good. And it'll be off page trainer last, so it'll stay with John Jay. Sloppy sloppy first quarter here, Joe. 15 combined turnovers between the two teams. And uh, I feel like it's all been here late in the quarter. Yeah, I think the snowstorm kind of bothered so, people. Plus, we're playing on Sunday. It's a kind of a, a couple of variables. So Ziola working against Castillo and able to assert herself and finish at the rim. Well, that was too easy for Ziola. Position and a great post move. Now ball swung around the perimeter. Encarnacion puts it on the deck. Hard layup. No good. Healy comes away with the rebound. John Jay has numbers. Healy right into the lane. Pass trainer and able to finish with the left hand. Healer and Ziola are two capable post players for John Jay. Encarnacion now has it on the right wing. Leung up top, has a pick option from Castillo, she chooses to take it, goes right. Leung over to Encarnacion, going to pull a right wing three. Oh, just short, looked good from our angle. It's literally right in front of our table as now Edwards breaks out the other way and we have a tie ball game here. Baruch can hold for final possession. 
quick 6-0 run for John Jay. So the momentum is really on John Jay's side now. How is Baruch going to answer? So Castillo has it up top. Green on her. Seven seconds left on in the game clock. Loses the ball. Nope, she got fouled. And actually not a bad foul as John Jay not yet forcing Castillo into the bonus. So it'll be side out underneath with only 4.6 left. If I'm Coach Lynn today, I wouldn't be too mad about that foul. I think it gives you an opportunity to reset defensively as Baruch really, I mean, then again, Baruch didn't really have much going, but and Arcadacion going to shoot over Ziola. High arcing shot off backboard rim. No good. Healy comes away with it, and that'll do it for our first quarter of action. Baruch led by as much as six. We're all tied at 12. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live. So welcome back to the Arcarino. It'll be John Jay who starts with the ball here in the second quarter. Leon's going to pick up green on the top of the key. David, uh, on that last possession of the first quarter, uh, to your point, the Bloodhounds took uh, Castillo out of the picture, and uh, nothing occurred uh, scoring-wise at the end for the Bearcats. Brooke haven't scored in the last few minutes of the first quarter, really looking for some offense as Yee's baseline shot, no good. Long rebound out to Green, still loose. And Le Leong hits the deck. Green still has the ball. Now it's into the hands of Healy, who goes right into the paint. Healy hit a three, last possession out as Nieves gives it off to Zayola, who knocks it down from the corner. Well, if Zayola's going to hit outside shots, then it's going to be a long day for the Bearcats. So... Uh, we've really got to worry about Ziola, where she is on the floor. Well, in this spy you in the game now to help out Mia Castillo. Castillo's three there, no good. Spy you comes away with the offensive board. She lays it back in, and she was looking at the ref for a foul. Help is on the way for the Bearcats. You you have um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. And the three there from the same spot Healy just hit is no good. Castillo now quickly to the front court. Valmichi around to spy over to Leung in the left wing. Her deep two is no good. Ball loose. Nieves comes away with the rebound for John Jay. Well, we have to get uh, Melinda Spayu some touches. She's been sitting on the bench for a bit. And um, her and Castillo could really uh, bring the momentum back to the Bearcats. And Edwards takes too many steps, and it'll go back to John Jay. David, this game, to Baruch, sorry. this game looks to be a game, really classic momentum change. Ebb and flow, ebb and flow. So uh, Baruch took some hits from John Jay. Now they have to hit back early in the second quarter. So Powell has checked into the game for the Bloodhounds, and it's a lot of size in there It's Powell. 5'10", Healy 5'9", and Zayola 6 foot all on the floor at the same time. Yi right into the paint, off glass, and she knocks it down. Well, Millie Yi uh, didn't care if the, she was in Mount Rushmore. She was going to get that basket. 
And now Green over to Ziola on in the corner. She knocks it down again, and Ziola kind of finding her sweet spot there on the baseline. Baruch have to close out. Notice both spots, both uncontested shots. Coach K cannot be happy with that. Ball swung around the perimeter. Now Leong has it up top. She's going to pull a deep three. Shot no good. Rebounded there. I think it was Healy who comes away with it. Either way, she comes into the front court with the ball. Going to go coast to coast. No one picks her up. Ziola comes right in the lane for the offensive board. And it's going to go off Castillo last. As Ruiz is down needing attention. So it'll stay with John Jay. Ruiz looks to be okay. Altamirano has just checked back in for the Bearcats. David, when John Jay does a crossover dribble, um, that's a problem for the Bearcats. They haven't been able to stop that. And baseline shot there by Ruiz. No good. Spayu comes away with the rebound. Baruch have numbers. Spayu right into the contact. And one. Nice play there. Go right into the chest of Ziola. Ziola just in the restricted area. And that'll be a two plus a potential additional for Spayu and a chance to tie the game here in the second quarter. That was a big time offensive move by Belinda Spayu. She kind of stutter stepped and um, froze the defender. And an old fashioned three point play uh, possibly here. And Spayu knocks down the free throw. So we're all tied at 19 here in the second. Powell now over to Nieves. Wide open left wing three. Oh, off front rim, backboard and in. Nice shot there by Nieves to get that to go. And Baruch, they're going to call it a two, excuse me. Boy, that was a strange bounce. Spyu out to Leung, straight on jumper. She knocks it down. Nice find there by Spyu to Leung. And we're all tied up at 21. Ooh, nice steal by there, Castillo. Dangerous pass there by Edwards. Castillo up to Leung. Leung has Altamirano, gives it off to Altamirano. Her shot might have been blocked. Leung comes away with it. Ooh, Coach Day might have had a petition there as it looked like Leung didn't reestablish position inbounds. Either way, Leung has it now. Ooh, she puts, takes too many steps, can't get the ball down quick enough. As her shot goes, either way, it'll go back to John Jay. David, make note of the impact that Melinda Spayu has had in, since she came into the game. <laughs> so now Edwards has it, gives it off to Nieves. Powell on the interior, she moves her feet, and it's going to go back to Baruch. 19th turnover here of the first half between both teams. Yeah, I'd like to have the over-under of the uh, turnovers. Well, Altamirano's ball almost got stolen right out of her hands, and it eventually does as Healy comes away with it. Ooh, nice crossover on Castillo. Healy bounce pass out. Corner shot there by Edwards was no good. Powell comes away with the rebound, and she gets her own rebound again. And she's able to lay it in, and it's going to be a 30-second timeout with 5.40 left for Coach Catrozos and the Bearcats. They trail by two. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live. So welcome, welcome back to the Arc Arena. It'll be Bearcats ball going left to right here. They trail by two, and Coach Kajojos just wants to talk things over. He was not happy about that last play. Powell getting multiple attempts at the rim to finish. Well, you know, uh, all 
Chandra had to do was stand there and do what if they want with no opposition. Yee's baseline jumper, oh, excuse me, elbow jumper, no good on the far side. And they're going to call a foul there on number two, Jordan Ruiz. Whenever Baccarella's in the game, something good happens. Correction, they're actually going to call that on Healy. Spyu knocks down the elbow jumper to tie things up here. Spyu and Castillo uh, have things under control offensively and defensively for the Bearcats. I think that was Yee who put, stuck a hand in there either way. Baru comes away with it. And it'll be a kick ball here on the, on the near side by John Jay and Castillo will inbound underneath. Nice play there by Yee to get a hand in there and Baccarella to come away with the steal. Now Yee gets the inbound outside of Leung. Gives it off to Baccarella. One more pass to spy you in the corner. Cross court pass to Yee. She's going to pull from the elbow. She knocks it down. Belinda well, Spayu helps you win games uh, besides putting the ball in the basket. That was a great cross court pass. And she got the ball to Millie Yee in the, where Millie really likes the ball. So now Healy has it up top. Powell trying to create position underneath. Green's going to pull a far side three. Shot no good. Doesn't hit anything. And it's going to go back to Baruch. What I, 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 I'm sorry, David. Uh, I want the Bearcat Nation to know um, when we open up this second quarter, Melinda Spayu, how she has changed the game for the Bearcats. Her presence on the court. Definitely a more uh, high-scoring second quarter here. It was only 12-12 at the end of the first. It's currently 25-23 as Ziola comes away with it. But, yeah, Joe, to your point, Baruch really struggled to score at the end of that first quarter. Um, allowing John Jay to kind of go on a 6-0 run to go into the second, including a couple more baskets in the early part of the second. But then Melinda's really settled some things down and uh, find some open shooters as we know she can. And Coach K may have to go with this certain lineup to get himself a W, but that's okay. That's how you learn about your team. And pull up there by Millie Yee. And that's not someone Coach Day really wants to get hot. As we know, Millie Yee from the mid-range can start getting it going. She's currently two, uh, three of seven so far with eight points on the afternoon. I like Millie's uh, body language. I think she's really ready to play today. And now Leung up, up ahead of the pack. Her layup a little too strong, and Edwards comes away with it. Castillo co comes out on Edwards. Good defense to slow her down so the defense can set up. Yep, absolutely. Great way to stop the ball. They always preach. It's going to be an offensive foul on Ziola. And as Spayu takes a charge, and it'll go back to the Bearcats. When your star players, so to speak, take a charge for you, that should lift your whole team up uh, out of their seats. Because now we're really talking about um, team and what gets championships won. So Leung has it now. Yee's going to pull that elbow shot again, let, being left wide open in that area of the zone. And she's hit a few in a row now, giving her 10. And she's starting to find the hot hand. Now it's Edwards in the front court for John Jay. Ball swung around the perimeter to Green on the right wing. Back up top to Edwards. Crossover move into the lane. Pull up shot at the free throw line. Off back iron, no good. Baccarella comes away with the rebound. Leung up to Castillo. Castillo into the front court. Ooh, trying to find Yee ahead of the pack. Yee has to corral, spin back. Spyu thinks about the shot. Nope, instead she'll take too many steps. And it'll go back to John Jay. Yeah, the Bearcats rushed it a little bit there. Spayu was in the corner. And that'll be a 30-second timeout for John Jay as they trail by six. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live. So both teams break the huddle. It's Baccarello, Castillo, Yee, Spayo, and Leung for the Bearcats. Coach K staying with this very effective lineup for the Bearcats. 
Yeah, three minutes before half to try to get in the halftime and try to continue to grow your lead here as Powell now has it over to Healy in the front court for John Jake. Ruiz puts it on the deck, finds Edwards, cross-court pass, shot just short. I think it would have been a two anyway. Castillo comes away with the rebound. Nice little dribble to go past Ru uh, Edwards. Underneath, oh, nice play there by Castillo to lay on to Spayu, who's able to lay it in. That was a highlight uh, sequence there by the Bearcats. One, two, three, basket. And Ruiz a little too strong. As Castillo comes away with it right into the lane, Spayu was going up with it. They're going to say it went off her leg last. It'll go back to John Jay. Nice aggressive play by the Bearcats. Maybe just a little unfortunate. Some good defense there by John Jay. David, this has been one of the finest couple of minutes by the Bearcats offensively this season. So Healy has it now in the front court. Gives it off to Powell. Powell gets it. Nope, they're going to say it was a travel as Powell's shot drops through. Powell also really was camping out there. Uh, but a good job because uh, we go back the other way. So it's Yi now over to Leung up top. Leung thinks about the shot, has Spayu at the free throw line, bounce pass outside to Baccarella, gives it inside to Spayu, outside to Leung. Leung's elbow jumper off right rim, no good. Leung able to save it though. And now Spayu trying to find the entry pass into Castillo. It's going to go off green last. And with 14 left on the shot clock, Baruch will inbound from underneath the basket. But that was a good idea by uh, Spayu. She got Castillo uh, in motion. And Leung has it up top. Spayu at the free throw line. Has Leung at the top of the key if she wants her. Instead gives it off to Castillo. Knocks it down from the left elbow, uh, wing. Excuse me. They're going to say it was a two. Baruch now lead by 10. Healy, quick shot. She knocks it down. Nothing you could do about that. Nice trigger there from Healy to just beat them down the court and knock down the mid-range. Yeah, Baruch can't get complacent. Uh, they want to keep this momentum their way. So Leung has it up top. Ooh, nice step back crossover. Leung going past Edwards. Gives it off to Millie Yi. Ooh, front iron, no good. Millie Yi that she was feeling it. She's hit the last three there from that spot. Now Green quickly the other way for John Jay. Right into the chest of Yi, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, the, you know what? The uh, Bearcats are tightening up defensively. You can feel it, um, and it's because of the play on offense is going their way. Everything is kind of a catalyst for one another. Nieves checking back into the game for John Jay. Leung will walk things up. We're in the final minute of our first half. Here between John Jay and Baruch, it's Yi on the far side with the ball, calling out the offense. Now the ball into the hands of Leung and Castillo up top. Baruch looks to go up by 10 at half. Castillo, nice step back jumper, shot a little short, no good. Nieves comes away with the rebound over Baccarella. Nieves getting cut down by Spayu, and now Spayu comes away with the steal. Spayu can pull back, and they have time. Coach Petrozos wants to hold for the final shot. 15 seconds remaining here in the half. Castillo has it on the symbol. Now Leung takes Castillo's spot. He has it in the corner. Baruch going to have to move quick now. Only five seconds remaining here on the game clock. Nice behind the back dribble. Leung at the free throw line. Her shot off back iron. No good. And that will take us to the half. Baruch leading by eight. 33 to 25. Great second quarter from the Bearcats as they outscore John Jay 21 to 13 after a 12-12 first quarter. We'll be back with second half action between John Jay and Baruch. You're watching Baruch Cuniac Conference Basketball on YouTube channel Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting and on Facebook Live.
So welcome back to the Ark Arena. It's second half action between John Jay and Baruch in a middle of the uh, schedule type of big battle because both teams are one game separated here in the CUNYAC. And the winner of this will move into second place, only trailing the undefeated Brooklyn College Bulldogs. The Spyu now has it in the corner. It's Leung, Spyu, Castillo, Baccarella, and Yi to start things off here in the second quarter. Yi shot a little too strong, and it'll be Green who comes away with it. Up ahead to Healy, Edwards, Ziola, and Ruiz all on the floor for John Jay. As Ruiz has it on the far wing, pull up three. Shot off back iron, no good. Rebounded by Green underneath over Spyu. Good D there by Spyu. Ball still loose, and it's going to go off the Bearcats last and will stay with John Jay. The Bearcats, uh, David, defensively still have to worry about Ziola, Healy. Where are they? And Ruiz has it on the near side, over to Green on the right wing. Now to Edwards on the far side, Healy on the baseline. Healy shot from the baseline is good. And just like that, we got some scoring underway here in the second half. Coach K uh, does not want to see that uncontested shot from Healy. That's her shot. So Bar Baruch has to maintain their momentum that they got uh, throughout that second quarter. And Yi pull up shot, no good. Similar spot where Healy just hit on the other end. And now Green comes away with it and Castillo riding her all the way up the court. And that's gonna be her first foul of the afternoon. A uh, quick shout out, Carmelo, uh, Alex Arena, Gary Siano and Bearcat Nation. Hope you're safe. So Green has it in the front court. Goes horizontal across the court, comes back towards us now. Gives it off to Edwards. Crossover move by Edwards. Leung all over her. And Green able to find some space underneath. Edwards finds her and is able to get an easy layup. Well, the Bearcats were sleeping on that possession. As Castillo goes coast to coast on the uh, to give the Bearcats those two points right back. Bearcats feel confident that they can do what they want offensively against John Jay. Spyu knocks it away from Healy. However, John Jay able to corral. Brown pull-up shot from the baseline is good, and she's got the hot hand here in the third. Well, we know what Ziola and Healy are going to do, but uh, Baruch doesn't want any of their friends to come to the party. Now Spyu has it on the far side. Baccarella, ball swung around the perimeter. Leung has it up top over to Yee on the baseline. Near side now is Castillo. Castillo going right past the defenders trying to find Spyu. Castillo probably should have just went right up with it. It's going to go off John Jay last. And with nine seconds left on the shot clock, Baruch will have it underneath. Now the Bearcats have to get out of each other's way. Um, little spacing. Well, Spyu thinks about the shot. Finds Leung on the bounce pass. Over to Baccarella left wing. Shot no good, ball loose. Rebounded there by Green. And ball stolen from her. It's gonna be Baccarella who comes away with it. And now Leung up to Castillo. Coach Petrozos wants them to push. Castillo free throw line jumper, around and out. No good, ball still loose on the deck. Spyu and Green calling for the jump ball there and it's gonna go back to John Jay. Let's give Baccarella a shout out. She always does something that doesn't appear in the scoreboard. And Edwards will bring it into the front court. Green on the near side. Ruiz has it in the corner. Ball swung back around the perimeter. Now into Ziola's hand. The ball gets knocked away from her. Might have been Spyu. Might have won off her leg. Either way, Baruch comes away with it. Leung's going to get fouled as she goes up for the layup. Shot's no good, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. Great lead pass for Baccarello. Leung only uh, 8 of 15 so far on the season from the free throw line, so looking to improve those statistics here. And rattles home the first. Young is such an exciting player to watch because she's always playing at 100 miles an hour, but under control. And she knocks down the second, two of two from the line, extending the lead back to six. A little bit more than three minutes gone here in the third. Green brings it into the front court. Leung picks her up. 
Crossover move by Green. Now Green trying to get in the lane. Baccarella trying to come with the strip. They're going to say the foul was on the floor. A little overzealous was Baccarella. And that's Baruch's second team foul here in the early going. Already Baccarella's third. Yeah, the Bearcats need Baccarella on the court. She's that intangible player in the lineup. Ruiz to inbound. Finds Green on the far side. She goes into the lane. Gives it off to Healy. Ziola now from the baseline is able to knock it down. Ziola has hurt the Bearcats with that one particular shot from the same place. She leads all Bloodhounds point scorers with 10 so far. Is now Spayu, free throw line jumper, a little too strong. No good, and it rims out. Ball swung around the perimeter, now over to Ziola. Shot there, no good by Ruiz. Gets her own rebound. And ball out to Edwards. Shot a little too strong. Bounces around. Spayu comes away with the rebound. Quickly pushing into the front court. Spayu quickly double teamed. Castillo now has it in the lane. Goes past two defenders. Can't finish though. A little too soft at the rim. And Healy comes away with it for John Jay. Couple nice moves. Pull up right in front of Castillo. Shot no good. Baccarella able to save. Now into Yee. Yee gets bumped by Ruiz. And it'll be... The ball will stay with Baruch. This is a, a game now, David, uh, early in the third quarter where both teams, again, are trying to feel where each other is at this point in the game. And Michu just checked back into the game. Does a 1-2 with Leung to get the ball in bounds. Edwards all over Leung. Leung keeps her dribble. Ball swung around the perimeter. Castillo has a chance at a three there. Around the out, no good. Spayu gets the rebound. A nice put back there. Well, Spayu again uh, is going to be that secondary factor in this game with Castillo. Are uh, they going to go one two one two? It was Healy's able to finish at the rim. Spayu last shot puts her into double digits. Third Baruch Bearcat in the afternoon with double digit points. Castillo leading the way with twelve. And she turns it over there on the offensive end, trying to find Yi as Coach Petrozos wants to talk things over with five minutes exactly remaining here in the third. Baruch lead by four, 39-35. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats broadcasting and on Facebook Live. And welcome back to the Ark Arena. Baruch leading by four, but it's John Jay's ball. And it'll be green to inbound. They'll come left to right here in the third. So Healy and Ziola, where are they uh, on the court? Baruch has to identify. Now Ziola gets it inside. Right hand able to go around and down. As Castillo had good position there, but Ziola sized a little too much. Cuts the Baruch lead to two. Castillo now quickly into the front court. Edwards on her. Ooh, crossover dribble. Almost got knocked away from Castillo. Leung has it up top. Bounce pass to Yi in the corner. Ball swung back to Leung. Yi has it now. Baseline shot. They're going to say it was a travel shot. Will not count even though it hits the bottom of the net. And it'll go back to John Jay. And we're seeing John Jay slowly chip away here at what was an eight-point halftime lead. David, what the Bearcats have to do defensively is deny the entry pass to the post. Firstly. Now Ziola gets it on the baseline. Goes strong and able to finish off the glass. Playing big is number 20, Ashley Ziola, the freshman center from Yorktown Heights. Somebody's got to stand up to Ziola and not be intimidated. 
Now Spayu has it inside. Leung back outside. Free straight up jumper is good from Leung. Young's maturity and poise allowed that to happen. She said, I'm going to carry my team now. Ziola gets it inside. Michi on her. Okay, there we go. Ziola can't finish. Nice D there by Michi. That's going to take a lot out of the Baruch defense, though, trying to stop Ziola inside when she catches the ball right there. Now Michi shot a little too strong off back iron. Healy comes away with the rebound. But Michi's got to get uh, a couple of touches and a couple of baskets to add to this Bearcat offense. Green can't get the shot off. Nope, she's going to say too many steps as Green kind of carried it on her hip. I think she was trying to regain possession, unable to do so, and it'll work in the Bearcats' favor. At this point, the leader of the team, Melinda Spayu, has got to make sure that the Bearcats are not really intimidated by a player like Ziola. Everybody on this court is a college ball player. So ball swung around the perimeter now. Leung has it up top. Five, nine seconds, excuse me, left on the shot clock. Gives it off to Spayu, back to Yi. Yi's going to pull the deep two. Shot no good. Long, actually, excuse me, it doesn't even hit anything. So unable to save was Le Check. Okay, I hear you. I think we are, sorry about that. We had a few technical difficulties here at the table. We are back. As the free throw there is knocked down there by Green. It's a one-point game with two and a half remaining here in the third. Sorry about that. Again, a little bit of a difficulty here. As the broadcast booth is back up and running as the shot there was no good by the Bearcats it was Green on the deck who was able to corral and now Ziola into the front court Healy wants it she spins on Spayu now it's going to be out to Green left wing three off front iron no good goes over the backboard and it'll go back to the Bearcats the, the pace is picking up here David and um, which team can really start a little run here with two minutes left in the third quarter. Baruch up by one. And Castillo has it on the near side. Trying to get it inside the spy you. They're going to say one of the Ola last. So it'll stay with Baruch. And Alta Murano gets the ball. Now Leung on the right wing. She's going to pull deep two. Shot no good. Green comes away with the rebound. She's going to push quickly into the front court. Bounce pass out to try to find Ziola was Edwards, and it'll stay, excuse me, Ruiz, and it'll stay with John Jay as it went off a Bearcat leg last. Bounce pass in to Powell there. Shot a little too strong off back iron. No good. Leon comes away with it for the Bearcats. Bearcats a little bit sleepy on defense. And Yi unable to knock that shot down from the mid-range. And it'll be Green who brings it up into the front court for John Jam. Seeing the ball in Green's head way more here in the second and third quarter than we maybe did see it in the early portion of the game. Well, I, I don't think that she poses the same kind of threat as Healy or Ziola. Ooh, Ziola can't finish at the rim, but she'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul there was on Millie Yi. Ziola in that length uh, just sometimes is unstoppable once that she's got position. She's got 14, leads bo all scorers on the floor tonight. 
excuse me, this afternoon. And also Green, Bobby Green, one point away from a double-double here for John Jay as Yellen knocks down the first. We're all tied up here at 41, a little bit more than a minute here in the third quarter remains. And Yola knocks down the second, so Leung will bring it into the front court. One minute remaining. Ball swung around the perimeter. Alta Morano has it in the corner, looking for options. Picks up her dribble, Yi. Now outside to Leung, over to Alta Morano. Spy you trying to find position on Healy. She does, gets the ball, a little shot a little too short, no good, working through a double team of Powell and Healy. Not the shot you want if you're the Bearcats. And John Jay come the other way. But Spayu is try, trying to give her team a lift. Ziola now into the lane. Gives it off to Powell, out to Green. John Jay playing big with, ooh, as Green gets fouled with Ziola, Healy, and Powell on the floor. Green's going to go to the line to shoot two. The foul there is going to be on Spayu. That's going to only be her third. Okay, well, somebody on the Bearcats, um, has to identify that Green is trying to get going here. And they know that Ziola and Healy are in the Bearcats' head. So they can't let Green now become part of that uh, trio. And Green knocks down the first. That gives her 10 on the afternoon. She also has 10 boards. Very impressive afternoon for Bobby Green. And she knocks down the second. Bobby Green on the season, averaging 16 and six, so not unexpected as Spayu comes the other way, lays it in and cuts the lead back to one. 44-43, Green's gonna go right to the basket. And she can't finish, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Green being aggressive, Baruch standing tall, and with that, Baruch trail by one, going into the fourth. We got a nice battle for second place here at the Arc Arena between John Jay and your Baruch Bearcats. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting and on Facebook Live. And welcome back to the Arc Arena. It's fourth quarter action between John Jay and Baruch. Ten minutes to decide this what has been a great game as John Jay lead by one going into the fourth. Yeah, David, it's, it's been a, uh, you know, battle because both teams I've alluded to have been trying to figure out what the other one is doing. But when Melinda Spayu and Mia Castillo team up, that could be the answer for the Bearcats. Now Leung has it in the front court over to Baccarella. There with Castillo, Spayu, and Yi on the floor. Same lineup that started the third as Spayu shot a little too strong. Green comes away with what's her 11th rebound on the afternoon. And John Jay's quickly into the front court. Ziola has it on the right wing. Powell trying to create position. Ziola has to pull back. Powell creating position on Spayu. Nope, Spayu creating position on Powell as Spayu comes away with the uh, steal. Spayu, very smart player. Uh... Again, she's going to have to make it happen on both ends of the court. Castillo, deep three, around and out, no good. That was halfway down. Espayu a little overzealous. That's going to be her fourth, though, so she's got to be careful. 
here for the remainder. Nine minutes and 17 seconds left to play. A lot of time to play with four fouls. Well, Bearcat Nation, um, don't worry about it. Castillo's got shots. That will go down very shortly. Now Edwards has it, trying to find Healy underneath. Spayu comes away with the steal. Nice positioning there by Baccarell on Edward, uh, excuse me, on Healy. And it'll be Spayu into the front court. Baccarella doing the unsung hero stuff. And there was going to say foul on the floor. The foul there is going to be on number. It's going to be on 40, 24, 42, excuse me, Powell. That's going to be her first. Let's keep an eye on Angela Baccarella and all the things she does for the Bearcats that don't show up in the scoreboard. Castillo, step back shot, no good. Baccarella trying to save. Nope, they're going to say she was on the end line. So it'll go back to John Jay. No points here in the first minute and quarter of the fourth. Now Healy has it on the far side. She pulls, that's going to be a deep two, a deep two. So that'll extend the lead to three as Leung brings it into the front court for the Bearcats. Well, that's an uncontested shot, David. That's not going to help the Bearcats. Yee, baseline shot, no good. It'll be Healy who comes away with it. Leung on the wrong end of a three-on-one. Aaron pass there, though, by Healy, trying to find Ziola. Ziola gets stripped. I think it was Millie Yee who got a hand in. Melinda Spayu uh, initiated that defensive play. So now Leung gives it over to Baccarella. Baccarella over to Spayu on the baseline. Hands out to Yee. Yee's free baseline jumper wide open, and she knocks it down. Millie Yee, strong second half, Joe. She's got 12. And who seems to find her but Melinda Spayu. Now Edwards gives it off to Ziola at the free throw line. Ziola has two on her. Green now Baccarell all over her. Green trying to get it back inside. Instead swings it on the perimeter. Edwards now has it going left. Drives it to Lane. Castillo with the big block. That's her fourth block of the afternoon. Throwing three steals. Doing it on both ends but can't finish with the right hand. Oh, that would have been a, a real... Great play by a great player. She could have connected. And Ziola can't finish also at a wide open layup. Couple sloppy plays by two of the better leading scorers on the court this afternoon. And the John Jay bench making some noise as Leung has it now. She travels and it's gonna go back to John Jay. Baruch consistently trailing by one, struggling to really regain the lead. Ziola will come to the bench, and Ruiz will come into the game. David, this fourth quarter, you know what? This is a playoff atmosphere in this fourth quarter, and this is really exciting. So now he, Powell able to turn, open free throw line jumper, shot no good. Green gets fouled underneath. They're going to say it was against, I think it's going to be against, oh, Baccarella, excuse me, I thought it was against Castillo, but that also puts Baccarella into foul trouble as she and Spayu now have four. Well, why that's happening is because Baruch never got to them and sealed them. Uh, it was just kind of an open season, so to speak. And Green can't hit on the first. One of the things as we go into the postseason is the Bearcats, we know what they're going to do offensively, but defensively, they're going to have to get better at positioning with regard to rebounding. So it'll be Castillo into the front court. If you can't make it out tonight, our next home game here at the Arc Arena will be a doubleheader, women's and men's, on Thursday, February 3rd, against Hunter College. That's a shot no good there, and it'll be John Jay who comes away with the rebound. And Edwards inside, can, can't finish with the left hand. Ball rolled around the rim. It'll be Yee who comes away with the rebound. And ball into the hands of Castillo. And Castillo quickly into the front court. Castillo ooh, loses on an errant pass. I think trying to find Baccarella in the corner. There was some contact there. Castillo a little late getting back now. Is Green into the front court. She gets fouled. They're going to say the foul was on the floor. It was on Millie Yee. And that's only her third. I think Melinda Spayu has to settle her team down and really get them to uh, be patient now and treat every possession 
like it's the most important of the game. We have 6.09 left, a two-point game. It'll be Ruiz to inbound, trying to find an open teammate. It goes out to Edwards. Now Green has it on front of her own bench on the near side, going past Castillo on the right, trying to at least. Nice double team there from Spayu. Now Castillo once again getting Green into a trap on the baseline, gives it off to Healy. Now outside to Powell. Powell elbow jumper, no good. Castillo comes away with that rebound, fighting over Green. And Castillo now goes into the front court. Green smart not to foul. Castillo turns it over. Ball's loose. And it's going to go back to John Jay. Well, Casillo has the right idea, but uh, she's got to, again, settle down, make it easier. Uh, she went into traffic, basically. So now it will be Edwards into the front court. Green on the far side. Finds Ziola on the interior, back out to Healy. Ziola using the pick, and Healy able to knock down the baseline too. Dangerous pass there, almost intercepted by Edwards as Castillo is able to corral. Castillo right into the lane. Free throw line shot is good. It rattles around and in. And with 5.16 remaining here in the fourth, Coach Catrozos wants a full timeout to talk things over. Baruch deficit is only two. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcats Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live. So welcome back to the Arc Arena. It's going to be John Jay's ball after Baruch cut the deficit to two on the last possession. It'll be Edwards to bring things up for the Bloodhounds. So again, uh, where is Healy? Where is Ziola? Don't let Green uh, penetrate. Good help defense by the Bearcats. Spayu comes away with that steal. Now Castillo going into the front court. Baccarella to Spayu. On the near side in the corner. Cross court pass to Yi over to Leung. Leung puts it on the deck. One dribble shot and knocks it down. And we're tied here at 49 all with 445 remaining here in the ball game. It'll be green into the front court for John Jay. Your players uh, that you've counted on all year are stepping up now. Ball into the interior. Shot way short. I think it was Ziola, but however, Ruiz comes away with the rebound. It'll be Healy on the top of the key. Around and out, no good. Castillo rises for the rebound. Had Ziola right on top of her. And now Castillo trying to go coast to coast. Once again, another Aaron pass, though, by Castillo. Handful of turnovers, but Leung comes away with the steal from behind. I don't think Healy saw her coming. Spyu now has it in the front court. Crossover move into the lane. Spyu knocks it down. And Baruch have regained the lead for the first time here in the fourth. All, all of the starting five now for the Bearcats is somehow literally getting their hand on a ball to make something happen. So it's Ruiz on the baseline. Baccarella closes out on her. Shot no good. A little too strong. They're going to say the foul was on the floor. And that's going to be on 13. Millie E, that's going to be her fourth. So Baruch now with Baccarella, Yi, and Spayu into four fouls with 3.47 remaining. Baruch going to have to be very patient on the defensive end. 
And Green able to go through the lane, can't finish. Ball loose, Healy shot, no good. Into the waiting hands, batted into Baccarella's hands, excuse me. And it's going to be Spy you now into the front court. 3.30 remaining here in the ball game. Baruch lead by two. Ball swung around the perimeter. Leung has it up top. Over to Castillo. Spy you has it now over to Leung. Shot. Deep from three, way short, and it's going to go back to John Jay with 3.13 remaining. We're getting down to crunch time here, Joe. One of these teams is going to have to make a move. I think the plan is just Mia Castillo and Melinda Spayu need to have the ball in their hands in the final three minutes. As Healy's three is no good, Baccarella grabs that rebound, and Spayu has it now. Also got to be careful, Castillo having a, bit of, a few turnover woes. She has three here in the fourth. And Leung has the ball now. She's double teamed. Baccarella has it. Back to Leung. Leung trying to facilitate. Spins back. Ball into the hands of Baccarella. Back out to Leung. Ball swung on the perimeter to Castillo. Castillo keeps it into the inbounds. Might have been worth it actually to let that one go out of bounds. Castillo is fouled as she takes a seat. Even when Castillo uh, does a turnover, David, you know, her brain is thinking productivity. She's a freshman, and I'm telling you, what a career she's going to have here at Baruch. So Baruch get bailed out, get a fresh 20. I don't think they, as Castillo's three is no good. On that last possession, Joe Baruch didn't really have much going, trapping themselves on a few occasions and uh, got bailed out by the foul. Either way, it'll be John Jay who comes into the front court. Three there by Ruiz is no good. Leon comes away with the rebound, and it'll be into the hands of Castillo now to walk things across the timeline. Castillo, crossover move, gives it back to Spayu. Leung has it on the center of the court. Spayu gets the entry pass. Goes in high off the glass, working against a few players. I think Healy was the closest defender, and Spayu was able to go past them. Only Melinda Spayu could have made that shot. Her creativity around the basket is unparalleled. It's going to be a travel on Healy. She took too many steps. So, David, with a minute 50 left, look at the impact that Melinda Spayu has had on her team at key moments in the game. And we'll talk about that when we come back. The minute 50 remaining, Coach Day wants to talk things over. It'll be a full timeout for John Jay. You're watching Baruch Basketball against John Jay on Baruch uh, bro Basketball Broadcasting and on Facebook Live. So welcome back to the Arc Arena with a minute and 50 left. Baruch lead by four. Spyu was able to hit that last basket to extend the lead, and it's going to be Baruch's basketball on the far side as where we left off, Healy took too many steps. And you'll see John Jay set up in a full-court press. Ball inbound to Castillo into the backcourt. So Baruch should not be in any hurry. A minute 45, up four. But they're going to Leung pulls from the free throw line. Early in the shot clock, Joe, almost contrary to the point you just made, but when you get that open from the free throw line, you know, the situation kind of dictated itself. Notice how the momentum has swung the other way. So everything is working for the Bearcats. Ball swung around the perimeter to Ziola now into the interior. Shot a little short. She's fouled underneath, and that could be dangerous as two out of the three players. Yep, it's going to be Millie Yi, and that will do it for Millie Yi on the afternoon. Solid game once again for Millie. She ends with 12 points. Unfortunately, on 16 shots, she played 37 minutes. So a big game for Millie. And she'll come to the bench, and we'll see what the Bearcats can do without her as it'll be Alta Murano, who's had a, a solid game as well, play, subbing in for eight minutes off the bench. 
Millie we see Yee. her role grow here in the second latter part of the season. Sorry, Joe. M- Millie Yee will pay dividends for this team as we go forward. Today was a great example of what she can do. A solid, solid player. And you can see she's really owned that mid-range shot when she gets open and gets the ball in that mid-range elbow or baseline shot. A lot of times it's going to find the bottom of the net. And Ziola goes two of two from the line. As Castillo will get it into Spayu. Back to Castillo. Bobby Green all over her. Castillo struggling to get it into the front court. Does, and Green a little overzealous. Baruch should uh, really be very conscious of the clock. The clock is their friend here. They have a four-point lead. No hurry. 24 seconds on the shot clock. Work the shot clock down. John Jay still has one foul to give. As Castillo has it, green on her. Castillo crossover move on the near side wing. Double team comes. Castillo going past them, hits the deck. And there's going to be a timeout. It's going to be a timeout for Coach Catrozos with 56.8 seconds remaining. It's a four-point Baruch lead. We'll be right back with more Baruch action. You're watching Baruch Basketball on YouTube channel, Baruch Bearcast Broadcasting, and on Facebook Live. So with 56.8, Baruch's going to break the huddle with the ball. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. So again, get your ball into your ball handler's hands and be conscious of the shot clock. The advantageous part of it is Baruch has right now really three primary ball handlers on the floor. Spayu, Leung, and Castillo. Spayu goes into the lane. It's knocked away from her, and it'll stay with the Bearcats, but only four seconds remaining on the shot clock. John Jay playing some smothering defense here late in the game. Get the ball to Castillo. Balls into the hands of Leung. Leung's going to get a shot up. Shot too strong. Leung gets her own rebound, and she's going to dribble it back out. Baruch get a fresh 20. Now the ball's into the hands of Castillo. Gets knocked away from her. She keeps it in the front court. The double team comes. Castillo has to pick it up. Gives it into Spayu. Finds Baccarella. She's fouled as she goes up for it. I think they're gonna they're gonna say it was on the floor. They're gonna say it was in the act of shooting. The foul there is gonna be on number three, Edwards. That's her third. Yep, it'll say it was on the floor. So Baruch will get another fresh 20. So a fresh 20 on the shot clock. 33 seconds left in the ball game. John Jay gonna get themselves in a position soon where they're gonna have to foul. Ball thrown in. It's loose, and John Jay come away with the steal. Green up ahead to Ruiz. Ruiz on Baccarella, lays it in. Two-point game. And Ruiz is going to foul. They have to foul there with 22.4. That's going to send Spayu to the line to shoot, a, to shoot two. David, what the Bearcats have to do going forward based on what just occurred in practice, practice to no end these inbound plays. It's going to create who wins the game or who doesn't. Spy you at the lunch. 75% free throw shooter on the season. As she's off on the first. John Jay have a hope. Up by, down, they trail by two. Spy you can extend it to three. Um. And Spayu knocks down the second, so it's going to be a timeout for Coach Day. With 22.4 left, they trail by three. We'll be back with the last few moments of action here between John Jay and Baruch.
And welcome back to the Arc Arena. It'll be John Jay's ball. They trail by three. It'll be Altamirano, Baccarella, Leung, Spayu, and Castillo for the Bearcats. Green, Edwards, Ziola, Healy, and Ruiz for John Jay. They'll be inbound right in front of their own bench. It'll be Green who comes to the ball. Leung all over her. Now Green into the, into the paint. Going in with the right hand. Can't finish, but she's fouled and go to the line to shoot two. David, what the Bearcats don't want to do is give up a three. Uh, they're going to put the Bear, uh, the Bloodhounds on the line for two. So if it all goes well for John Jay, uh, they'll be trailing by one. And Green knocks down the first. Joe, I haven't really thought about this, but with the size you have on the interior, do you cons I mean, is there any consideration of missing this? Probably not, I would assume, with 18.6 left. Uh, in the I game. would go for it if I'm John Jay, because now you're still down one. Assuming that Baruch can knock down their free throws, as Castillo will now go to the line to shoot two. She's a 72% free throw shooter on the season. I think really what it comes down to is John Jay's letting the ball get into the hands of some of the better free throw shooters for the Bearcats. But we saw Spayu, 75%, just missed one on the last trip. But to your point, David, when you have the size uh, advantage that the Bloodhounds have, um, you, you use that to win games. And that, was, that could have happened on that last possession easily. It might just be too early in the game, though. They're still going to have a couple possessions left. Normally, you know, the last 16 seconds of basketball could be three or four possessions here as Castillo knocks down the first. And she's off on the second, and it's going to be a timeout once again for Coach Day. This time, it's going to be a two-point lead versus the three-point lead that, uh, deficit Excuse me, that they had moments ago. We'll be right back with the last few moments of action here. 15.5 remain here at the Arc Arena. So Ruiz will inbound right in front, once again right in front of her own bench. It'll be Edwards up top now has it. 13 seconds remaining here in the ballgame. Green gets it on the baseline. Going to drive baseline. Ball stripped by Castillo. And she's fouled. So she'll go to the line to shoot two. It's not over yet though here at the Arc Arena. But Green will foul out. So that is huge for John Jay as she's had a double-double evening. Well, or afternoon, excuse me, not used to some of these afternoon games here, Joe. But she ends the game with 14 and 13, um, throwing four assists, but also seven turnovers. So doing it on all ends of the floor. David, notice uh, Ziola or Healy was not involved in that last play with the game on the line. And for, that's great for the Bearcats. But notice the quick hands of Castillo, whose hands never stop moving and feet never stop moving. As Castillo the knocks them both down, and Coach Day wants to talk it over. What I was more surprised about is you almost you, when you're on the baseline, you have that baseline almost as an extra defender, so it almost plays into the hands of the Bearcats. But we'll be right back with more fourth quarter action. 8.3 remaining here at the Arc Arena between John Jay and Baruch. Anytime uh, uh, Castillo has somebody in the corner, she starts her hands. Yeah, great defensive play there on the last time out for Castillo. She then knocked down two free throws, and we lead by four. Now Edwards going into the lane. High arcing shot, no good. Rebounded by Castillo, and that will do it here at the Arc Arena. Baruch getting a big W, much needed after the loss, coming off the loss to Brooklyn College. Before that, they had a nice four-game win streak, and maybe they can get a little something going here, Joe, as... 
They win 59 to 55 here at the Arc Arena. David, um, Millie Yee, Game Ball, Alyssa Young, Baccarella, and let's put the spotlight on Melinda Spayu, who picked her spots to lift her team's performance. And what can you say about the freshman, Mia Castillo, who finds ways, uh, after turning it over, she'll find five ways to make up for it. So, you know, when you have great players, David, sometimes they're going to make you cringe, and then another time you're going to hug them. Um, so, you know, that's what great players are. But you have to like, David, where Baruch is, finding ways to win. The most impressive thing I thought about Melinda tonight was 9-14 left in the fourth. She picked up her fourth foul and was able to play the rest of the game without fouling out. I mean, that's huge when you're relying on her the way you you are today with 18 points, five boards, and five assists. What you have is a player, David, with a very high basketball IQ who uh, finds ways uh, offensively and defensively. And um, you can't say enough about the moves Coach K made to make sure that he had the right people at the right time. So Baruch, four players in double digits tonight with Le Leung at, with 10, Yi with 12, Castillo with 17, and Spayu with 18. A well-rounded performance and a 59-55 win over John Jay. This will bring Baruch into second place in the conference. Don't forget to come in next Thursday here at the Arc Arena as Baruch will be hosting Hunter College in a doubleheader. It is the Battle of Lex. May not be our usual uh, festivities with all the fans in here, but either way, Hunter, a longtime rival of the Bearcats, and we should see an excellent ball game. Once I just want to say, David, uh, have a safe rest of Sunday, but every game now, Bearcat Nation, is of playoff nature. So make sure, if you can't come in person to the York, make sure you tune in. Because every game, every play is going to be like a playoff atmosphere. And we're really doing some fun things and great things, men's basketball and women's basketball. Yeah, five more, you know, barring any makeup of postponed or canceled games, five more games here on the regular season schedule for the Bearcats. So a lot of opportunity to still decide seating. And they'll see John Jay, the last home game, oh, excuse me, last regular season game at John Jay uptown. So, Lot, still lots to play for, but that'll do it for us here at the Arc Arena. Once again, your final score, Baruch 59, John J 55. This broadcast has been in conjunction with the Baruch Athletic Department. For Joe Stolzer, I'm David Just. Have a great night, everybody.